The Sad Case of Brittany Locklear January 7, 1998 Brittany lived in an area called Beaumore in Hope County, North Carolina. Around 6.30 a.m., Brittany's mother Connie woke her up to get ready for school, and together they would pick out Brittany's school clothes for the day. The pair then headed out for the bus stop, which was located at the end of their driveway. The bus stop was less than 500 feet from their home. Now, for whatever reason, Connie says that she went back into the house to use the bathroom before the bus came, leaving five-year-old Brittany alone at the end of the driveway. Connie says that when she returned, Brittany was gone. Now, at first, Connie thought Brittany had gotten on the bus. So Connie rushed to West Hope Elementary School just to double check, only to find out from school officials that Brittany had never arrived. That's when Connie realized her daughter had been kidnapped. So Connie immediately called the police department to report Brittany missing. And to her horror, she learned the neighbors had witnessed a pickup truck slamming on brakes at the edge of her driveway, followed by a man getting out, grabbing Brittany, and speeding away. And the neighbors swore that's what they seen. The whole town was in shock, and a large ground search quickly began. But around 9 a.m. that same morning, law enforcement found some of Brittany's clothes on a dirt road around two miles away from her home. Next day, around 2 p.m., Brittany's nude body was discovered in a roadside drainage ditch around two miles from her home. An autopsy showed that Brittany had been R-worded and severely assaulted and that she had drowned in that drainage ditch. The police quickly began their investigation. They took the evidence and they questioned over 50 registered Schmegs offenders. Now, early on, there were so many tips in this case, but nothing led to anything that would help. A Fort Bragg firefighter was arrested in a bank robbery. Investigators later found a picture of Brittany in his locker at the fire station. But the firefighter's DNA was no match to the evidence that was found at the crime scene. They come to find out that photograph he had in his locker was actually a newspaper clipping related to her case. And that firefighter was cleared as a suspect. In 2015, Hope County Sheriff's Department announced they had enough DNA evidence to create a genetic profile of the individual who unalived Brittany. But sadly to this day, there are still no leads or breaks in Brittany's case. But if you have any information on Brittany's case, contact the Hope County Sheriff's Office at 910-878-1100 or the North Carolina Bureau of Investigation at 1-800-334-3000. If you've seen something, say something. You can remain anonymous. And there is a $20,000 reward. Parents, please do not leave your children unattended anywhere. Even if you think your area is safe, you never know where these predators are lurking or who they are watching. Brittany and her family deserve justice. Had she lived, she would almost be 30 now. When this happened, she had a baby sister at home. Brittany was indigenous, and she was a native to the Lumbee tribe. North Carolina has a high number of indigenous victims. We really need your help to find out who did this to Brittany. Just remember, no piece of information is too small.